Guys, if you're like us, clients are requesting quicker and faster turnaround times, which means you've got to speed up your editing, but you don't want to sacrifice quality. Well, 17.4 is here, and there's a game-changing tweak to the uh, qualifier. And so going to the qualifier tab, and it's just here, it's the 3D qualifier. It's been there in previous versions, it's just not been as intuitive. Um, and what does it do? Well, with one click or mouse drag, you can select uh, a face or a background, and it's as simple as that, but it's so easy. So without further ado, let's jump into three examples of where this can be used. Example number one is how to uh, create a look or a LUT. Um, how do you get that orange and teal look or whatever look you're after, but how do you do it really quickly without using a LUT? Uh, way number two is to probably most importantly get yourself out of trouble when things weren't lit quite right uh, you can bring them back you can lift faces and way number three is just finesse skin tones so let's jump into it so this is a shot of louis that we had in the studio um, so it looks pretty good we had controlled lighting which is great um, however we can use this qualifier to just boost this so let's go in and um, take care of the contrast up the saturation a touch and I'm sure you'll agree that looks pretty good straight out the camera but let's see what we can do to create a LUT so let's go qualifier 3d qualifier and this is where the magic happens you just click and drag over your actors or models face and you can see it's really starting to highlight everything really crisply too um, the, the way you want you do want to use some some denoise just to just to uh, make it less harsh and so you don't get any flicker or noise into the key. Um, if you turn on highlight, you can see what you're doing there. But there you go, one mouse drag, selected his skin tone, perfect. If we then use uh, a parallel node, uh, we can do the same thing with the background. Um, so turn on highlight, we'll just see what we're doing there. Oh, sorry, use the 3D key, this is the new tool. So just select the background there. And then with our color wheels, we're just going to drag in some teal. And within a few mouse drags, we have an orange and teal look. Look at that, super striking. We can go in and we can check his skin tone separately to the background. We can just check, sure, check that that is on our skin tone line with the vector scope, which it is, it's pretty close. And then we can go and tweak if needed with our color warper. Uh, but that doesn't need a huge amount of work. Um, and there you go. So we've got before, Pretty good shot. Afterwards, orange and teal look, whatever look you want to achieve. Okay, so shot number two. This was for a promotional brand film that we shot recently, but sadly we didn't have any control over the light. We were using natural light and running really fast paced uh, in this shoot. So we have this shot here of this group at this dinner table. Um, and if we just grade it up as quick as we need to run normally uh, for a client, you'll see what I'm talking about. So if we drag, drag in some saturation, drag, take care of the contrast, I'll just create a new node and bring those blacks down a touch. Um, you know, it's starting to look more cinematic. However, your eye is drawn to this huge white area here um, rather than our model's face. And we need to fix that with a key. So let's go in and you can see how fast we're running here. We'll just run in and just run that tool over her skin tone. We'll use the add picker and just make sure we've got everything. Um, make sure we've got his skin as well, make sure we've got her skin there, and there you go. All of their skin tones have been captured, and we'll just use some denoise again. We're going to bring in the radius slightly, and there you can see a good solid key over the whole image, and you can see exactly what we're talking about with our lack of colour, contrast and definition. Okay, so you can see from the vector scope that it's all a bit muddy. We've got all sorts of colors coming in, magentas, greens, um, which isn't great. So we're gonna to wanna to warm that up a touch. Just bring that back to a skin tone that would be more natural. Uh, and then we're gonna use our color warper again. This is one of our favorite tools, just to bring out that blue. See, we shouldn't have blue in skin. We shouldn't have magenta in skin. Uh, and we certainly shouldn't have green in skin, unless you're ill. There you go, a much more balanced shot, color-wise, but not in terms of luminance. So that skin tone is way too dark, our eye is still drawn to the sky, and we're just gonna use our color wheels just to bring up the gain to something like that. And then if we go back, look at the whole image, there you go, looking much nicer. I'm just gonna readjust that contrast ratio. I think we can afford to add in a bit more contrast there. So there you go. We're gonna go before, very flat, lifeless, dusk shot afterwards much warmer your eyes now drawn to her face 
uh, and you could finish that with a vignette if you wanted to or you could push that gain slightly higher so you can really get away with it there you go before after looking much nicer your eyes now drawn here it almost looks like it was lit um, so a huge game changer there and then the third way is just to finesse your shots so again let's quickly grade this up adding in some contrast add in some saturation and take care of those blacks in the background which are lifted too much so there you go not a bad shot um, but you can see we've got this massive hotspot here and her skin tone just isn't quite keeping up and she's looking a little bit green so we're going to go in and fix that we're going to check that she's on the skin tone line um, so 3d key her there you go again denoise color warper and we're just going to add in slight more red. I'm going to go back to that first node, add in some more saturation. I think you can do a touch more. There you go. So, really quickly, before, before, and after. Before, slightly muddy, a classic black magic out of camera look. Afterwards, a really nice shot. Uh, that's much more balanced and we can go in again and add some more gain to her face you can really play with how bright you want her skin to be and then you can finalize that again with a vignette just to set the scene and draw your eye to her face so there you go before after so an absolutely game-changing tool it's so quick and you can just fly through a whole timeline um, just selecting those skin tones with one drag uh, and then finessing the 3d kit is such a powerful tool please do let us know how you get on